Got the uh, road lantern if we need it. Another road lantern. And we just get a bunch of stuff. Okay. <laughs> That's so awesome. Okay. Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today I wanted to give you guys part four of our Loop Hero Let's Play. Uh, I have been having so much fun with this game, as I've said probably every single episode. Uh, and last episode, we actually just got a lot of kind of farming done uh, in order to get us the uh, smithy, the herbalist hut, and the gymnasium. Uh, and we have the field kitchen. So we've just been kind of uh, farming, you know, trying to get the, uh, to, to fight the level two or chapter two boss. Um, and we have not been successful yet, but we've gotten a lot of progression here. So we're going to go ahead and see if on this episode we can actually beat chapter two and fight whatever boss or something is beyond all of this. So um, the only thing I remember is I remember that we got some um, a new card, which was wheat fields, which we can place next to villages uh, and stuff like that. And that's kind of the only big difference. So we're going to just jump right in. And I uh, got an achievement, practically a job, embark on your 10th expedition. I guess this is the 10th one I've done. So um, we're going to automatically, uh, you know, start with some of this loot here that we got. Uh, that's one of the things that we got. I think that was from the blacksmith. Um, and we have potions and stuff. So we're getting more mechanics. We got our XP level and everything, uh, which is crazy how uh, I'm so happy this game has blown up, um, quite honestly. Um, because it definitely deserves it. But... Uh, one thing I think that is super interesting, actually we're gonna pause here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and place a village um, here so we can go ahead and get a quest early and we'll place some wheat fields here, plus five HP to healing and adjacent villages uh, spawns a scarecrow. So maybe we go ahead and uh, connect all of them with wheat fields, right? Oh, that's, that's what you do. Okay, that's interesting. And it will spawn a scarecrow though. Uh, and we can go ahead and I'm gonna wait to spawn this cemetery uh, just a little bit but yeah no this game deserves all of the all of the praise it's been getting um, but it's crazy how the more you play the game the more you're addicted it's so weird you know normally I experience a lot that a game has to offer um, you know and then like you can keep playing it but like it's nothing new this game's completely the opposite though the more you play you know the better it gets. Um, okay, so we got some meadows here. We'll start putting meadows down here. We'll put our mountains here. Um, and if I remember correctly, I want a mountain surrounded by rocks. That's what I'm trying to do here. Um, but we're going to go ahead and spawn a cemetery there and a grove here. We'll, we'll, we'll make it a little bit more challenging here. Get some more loot early on in the game. You know, plus it gives us those resources too, uh, depending on what it is. So I'm really, really, really hoping that we can get a good build here to actually fight, at least fight, you know, boss too. Um, so we got our two wheat fields pat through there. My guess is that if we, let, let's pay attention, if we walk through that, is that going to give us like some sort of food for the camp or something? That'd be pretty cool. Getting a lot of these mountains, which obviously I wish we would have, um, Okay, I'm gonna try to have an, a, a mountain pink like normally, and then I'm gonna just see what happens if I put like nine mountains together because uh, quite frankly, the game is not giving us rocks. Mountain, see, it's just giving us the mountains. Oh, here we go, here we go. We got a spear, which is going to have some counter on it, a little bit of damage to all. More wheat fields. We can't place those yet. We can place the meadow down. We can place the rock down how we wanted it. Um, we'll place one more cemetery up here. Because I don't want to make any part of the map like way too hard in itself. Oh, there we go. Here's another village. Place the village there. That means we've got a bandit camp now. Up the wheat field there. Meadow down there. Yes, yeah, so the bandit camp spawn obviously once we get a certain amount of. I think it's every two villages we get a bandit camp. Oh, here we go. Nice ring. Uh, vampirism. Okay. Getting some regen and vampirism there. I don't know. Maybe we just go good old sturdy vampirism build, you know? I mean, I know it's way too early right now to, uh, to say what we're doing, but. Another mountain. Another meadow. 
Now we're at 420 health. Let's go. <laughs> okay, we're gonna fight these rat wolves now. We might go ahead and just place the cemetery, honestly. I mean, with the regen we have and the vampirism, it's not the worst thing in the world. These these things freaking evade a, a lot. Those rat wolves hurt, man. That's the thing. That's why I am a little hesitant to play, place these. Because, oh, that got turned into a mountain peak. I don't know how. Um, but yeah, that's the only reason why I'm like super um, concerned about that sometimes. Is because... Because we're on chapter two, um, the game, like all of the people have like special new abilities now. Um, which some of them are really good. So we're about to go see how bad these scarecrows is. I'm assuming not, it's, it's not gonna be terrible. Ooh. Let's get a lot of health there. Oh, do we get real good loot from them though? Um, so we would do more damage and damage to all, but we're losing that. Oh, that counter. Okay, yeah. I thought that I thought that was what giving was giving us our vampirism, but it is not. And here's a thief or a bandit. Yeah. Gave us a real good thing. Uh, 16 to 24 damage. A little less damage to all. I think that's honestly still worth it. That's just an insane amount of damage we can get. Like 27 damage right there. Um, a shield's gonna give us defense and magic damage. Still need to kind of get clarity on what that magic damage is. I'm pretty sure it's like at the bar. I'm not sure. I'm trying to watch the bar and it's just a little hard to, to tell. Um, but okay, so defense, attack to all, attack speed. It's probably, yeah, definitely worth it. We're gonna go fight our quest that is to kill this slime. Oh, there we go, we got a treasury. Um, so let's go ahead and place, place a treasury. We'll get some mountains around it. We'll get some uh, rocks around it. I don't really remember the... <laughs> I, I kind of messed up the, the uh, formation of that, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I am going to kill the goblin camp. Don't want you. So the bandits come every two village tiles. I probably should have looked. I can't remember what the bandit camp does they spawn for. Ooh, another treasury. Let's get that down next to the meadows. Um, and we'll place we'll place a single more cemetery right there. I think we can stand to make these a little bit harder. Skeletons aren't really that bad, as you can tell. We just got a real good ring there. Um, damage to all defense, attack speed, and counter. So this is getting rid of the vampirism kind of stuff we've got going on. Oh man, I mean, counter would be a real cool build, but honestly, honestly, because I know I'm fighting a single boss, I think it might be a good idea to um, to just try to honestly force a vampirism build here. Um, this is definitely just way better armor. We still had starting armor. And here's our quest. We have a quest to kill a skeleton, an elite skeleton, which that is a pretty decent enemy to become elite. That's, that's They're not the worst. They're so slow at attacking. Okay, here we go. Oh, and became a ghost because we have that um, that one thing down here. So, uh, better, okay, this is just a better, a little less damage, but it's gonna give us a lot more stats that can be kind of useful. Now oh, we got some harpies from the mountains that we've been creating. Oh my God, stop evading, get out of here. Get out of here. That's not getting out of here. That's sending another one of your friends. Okay, we killed that one a lot faster. <laughs> Got these rat wolves. That guy, okay, having the damage to all is, do I have damage to all? Six. Nine, okay, I'm doing nine damage to all. Okay, when you have a lot of damage to all, I'm kind of now realizing that is not the worst thing. Oh, we got some we got some banger music here. Here's one of the scarecrows. Okay, my I think that these things just have a lot of health and they give you good loot, which that seemed pretty decent. Um, 
lose the vampirism. I don't... I don't think so. I don't think I like any of those, actually. Um, we'll make this corner right here. We'll make it a little bit more challenging. I uh, got a ring that gives us more regen but less vampirism. Nah. We'll see, like, now, yeah, here the damage all didn't seem that great. Especially when they're going to evade every single thing. Oh, did we level up? I'm sorry if, if I, uh, if that's been up here for a while. Um, damage is increased by 20% of de defense value. Every morning the hero's sword is, uh, filled with sunlight, causing its next attack to deal more damage, or 10% chance upon hit of stunning target for one second. I say let's get our defense up a ton, right? Let's increase our defense, um, or our damage with more defense here. So we definitely gonna want to focus on a lot more defense. It's a pretty good ability. At least it seems like it's pretty good. Uh, more max health. This drops us some defense here, but this is overall just way better, I think. Oh, I had a pause. Um, ooh, this gives us some regen, but other than that, that's not very good. Uh, do we want counter or attack speed? I think, it, ooh, that's actually a lot of counter. We'll go ahead and put that on. So we're about like one third to getting this boss. Some rocks in here. Oh, okay, skeleton, I'll kill you. Oh, that seems good. What is that? Magic damage evasion. Ah, it's a little bit better. Not the, like, best thing in the world, but I'm not gonna complain. Yeah, these skeletons are, like, really easy. I mean, I don't know if they're, like, giving me a crazy ton of stuff, but, um... Battlefield wanted to spawn some chests. We'll place it there. Oh, I forgot it happens every time I go past camp, so I could have put it somewhere. I was trying to put it further on the loop, so I would... You know, wait to get it, but, um... Okay, this is a little more damage. Uh, we lose the counter and evasion for regen and defense. I, th I think we take that. And then this is... Ooh, this is some vampirism here. A lot less, uh, or not a lot less, just a little less max HP, but we have some more attack speed and vampirism. I think that's better. Yeah, so we're gaining... Oh, wow, okay, these skeletons... Oh, there's a 50% chance skeletons will... Oh, go into a croc skeleton. Is that the first time I noticed? Do they get their abilities, like, as the enemy loop goes on? That's interesting, because maybe, yeah, now they have this ability because I'm on loop 5. Okay, what is this? Ooh, this is a nice vampirism rapier. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. We're getting, we're getting to it. We're getting to it. So right now, obviously, I think we are going to try to go super into vampirism. Um, we're going to go uh, try to get as much defense as we can possible because of our one ability. And, oh, there we go. Finally got a blood grove. Uh, magic damage, damage to all. No, I'm not losing 11% vampirism. No, thank you. Um, okay, is there anywhere here that we want to... I think we make a grove right... I want the blood grove to be in the camp, because I think if the boss is going to spawn at the camp again, I very much enjoyed... Um... <laughs> oh my gosh, I messed that up. I messed it up in, like, the worst possible way. Okay, well, we're going <laughs> to... We're going to hold on to, um, the blood grove. We're going to hold on to everything we have, actually. For safekeeping. Obviously, wheat fields we're not going to be able to use until we get more villages. Road lantern, I'm going to hold on in case I need it. Like, if there's just a really bad area that I'm not able to deal with right now. And look at him evading everything. But to be fair, he's not doing a ton of damage on us because I guess we had a bunch of regen and stuff. Okay, here's the Scarecrows. I feel like I get better items uh, from these Scarecrows. Like, that seems pretty good. Um, 
We lose the vampirism, but we gain attack speed and regen. I don't think that's worth it. I think we specifically want to go vampirism and bump our damage up so we get even more vampirism from the defense. Uh, less vampirism. No, that is just a, that is a downgrade, straight downgrade of what we have. Well, don't want that either. Fully surrounded that treasury, uh, which means we got another meadow. We got a battlefield, which we'll, I don't know, put right there. Oh, see, now these rats, yeah. Or I guess they've been able to make me bleed for a while, so they didn't get a new ability when they leveled up. I don't know. Maybe those skeletons always had that ability, and we just were getting really lucky with them not respawning. Or some minions, I guess, level up. Some don't. Okay, what is this? Nope. You're not <laughs> I'm not allowing you to take 14% of my vampirism away from me, game. That is what's gonna get us to this boss. Ooh, that's a real nice piece of... Um, we lose some vampirism for a lot, a lot more health and a lot more defense. Man, I hate to say it, but I think that's actually worth it there. We're losing a big chunk of uh, vampirism, but that was just such a big jump. Attack speed. Ooh, do we actually want this? Defense goes down a little bit. Or no, goes up a little bit with a little more attack speed. I think we do that. I mean, because ideally when we have vampirism, attack speed's gonna mean we heal more, so. That shield, just straight defense. Nah, not worth it. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty much staying at like, kind of, you know. Oh, pfft. I misplaced it, no! <laughs> no, it spawned a goblin camp. Uh, oh, they appear for every 10 mountain rock tiles. That's what it was. Um, here, we'll start placing our um, our meadows over there since they don't really care. I cannot believe I did that. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna get another one to fill in. It just, it looks, it was, it looked so perfect to me. And it no longer looks perfect. I have failed you guys, I apologize. Uh, gives us a bunch of evasion. That's an insane amount of evasion. That's an insane amount of evasion, actually. 18% evasion? I, I think I actually do that. I mean, that's ridiculous, right? 18% evasion. Let's see, see if we get anything good out of the chest. Something gives me the, the worst version of what I just found. Glad this wasn't a mimic. Got another village card, which is pretty nice. We'll definitely take that. Oh, here we go. Okay, so, I, do, okay. I mean, we, we just automatically, I, the evasion was nice for the 30 seconds we had it, but uh, I would very much rather have the vampirism. Uh, this is just way, way better. Get more attack speed, some counter to it. Um, we're gonna place this village here, and then we're gonna place the wheat fields there. We're just connecting. This is a whole little area of us. I, I, that's so cool. Like, I like how I'm like actually like, I feel like I'm building this up. Like, I, there would just be a lot of villages connected. There would just be a mountain area, mountain area. A lot of stuff there, none of which is really what we're looking for. Man, okay, this is... I think this is the run, guys. I don't know, I don't wanna like jinx us, but... Okay, there we go. There's our rocks. <laughs> no, nope. Okay, we have an oblivion, so we can destroy something. Um, should we destroy something? Oblivion, uh... Yeah, maybe we get rid of this goblin camp. Get that out of here. I don't want no goblin camp. Oh my god, I'm gaining so much health. This is amazing. I mean, with the counters too, because every time I do a counter hit, I didn't think about that. Every time I do a counter hit, I'm gaining health from that. So counter is just a lot better when you're doing a vampirism build than a uh, just normal... Um, 
like a, a normal evasion build. But okay, so what was this? This is just something that gives, okay, I don't know why I was looking at that. That's just a worse version of the one we have. Okay, let's see if we can get some counter hits here. We are losing a lot of health. Oh, we leveled up there though, which I can, I'm gonna pause, I'll wait. I wanna see how this goes. Oh, wait, can I pause it? Oh, I can, okay, let's get this. Okay, every morning next attack is dealt two damage. I don't like that, cause it's just like once per loop. That's not a lot. Um, after receiving this effect in every, and after every loop, the hero receives a bar of phantom protection. Oh, that's the shield. Or if your HP drops below 30%, your regeneration is doubled. Your regeneration. Oh, that's just regen, right? Or does that count vampirism as well? Regen. I don't know if that counts as vampirism. I'm gonna take this shield just because I have a lot of max HP. Um, and I don't know if that regeneration applies to regen or not. But either way, I mean, that shield is what like helped me win the boss fight last time. Cause I mean, obviously just having like a huge shield is so nice and it's real nice when you're doing vampirism because you can use that time to, uh, to kind of heal up a little bit while you have the shields on. So we're about halfway there, we're about halfway to fighting the next boss. Which I'm really, really, really hoping that we can we can win. I mean, yeah, we're we're staying like pretty high up. Um, there, actually, there's I just realized there's a lot of skeletons up there, so I probably will place like two road lanterns. I know they're just skeletons, but um, yeah, we'll go ahead and. None of them have like a quest or anything that I can risk like getting disappeared, so Okay Cuz yeah, I mean they are just skeletons, but I guess that's the thing, you know, obviously at a graveyard There would be more than one ske skeleton Other big reason I really want to uh To beat the boss is just because if you actually like are able to like beat the um I want to just put him here to like I don't know, make it look nice, but I don't think that's actually the best for like, um, whatever it's called, like adjacency bonuses. But yeah, the other big reason I want to kill the boss is because when you kill the boss, you get to keep all of your resources instead of the 30% you keep if you lose or the 60% you keep if you, um, if you run. So this is not what we are wanting, I don't think, nope. And the shield, no, we need that. I'm not letting you take 18% vampirism away from me. It's a lot of defense, which would increase our uh, shield quite a lot, but uh, or our damage because of the level up power we have, but not letting you take away my, my life steal. We're taking a good amount of damage here, actually. Um... Okay, here's some of the skeletons. Yeah, now imagine if there were like two more skeletons here. Oh man, we're taking some damage here. We actually had to use one of our potions. What's going on here? Um, oh, we got some uh, better armor actually in like every way that is also giving us vampirism. So we're now at 52% vampirism. Okay. This is getting a little spooky here. Um, one thing I will, oh no, I, I thought I was paused here. I think we are getting to our campfire. Um, oh, there's our other potion used. Oh man, we're taking some damage here. We be taking some damage here. Okay, let's, 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 yep, there's our, there's our third potion. Wow, okay. So we made this pretty hard, apparently. Um, I'm gonna road lantern up here. Um, meadow up there. As soon as we get to this campfire, we get more of the health. Um, blood grove, let's blood grove here. I guess, I mean, we got I'm surprised it's the only blood grove we've gotten, but, oh, this is gonna be a tough battle. This is gonna be a tough battle. We really gotta rely on that blood grove help us in, helping us out. Oh, if they're gonna be evading a ton, that hurts. Man, okay. 
As long as we can make it to this camp, we'll be good. Um, what do we need to get rid of? I'm gonna save that Oblivion. Ooh. Ooh, this is actually gonna be pretty bad. I'm gonna Oblivion that. Because when they die, they would have spawned as ghosts because of the things I put there. So I really, I gotta make this game a little bit easier here. It's the thing, like you wanna make the game, you know, harder early on so you gain loot, but I mean, it comes back to bite you here. So we have our shield again, which will help us kind of, along with the healing that we got, um, will allow us to kind of build up our health again. Um, okay. I think we're in an okay position. Any damage dealt not during this, during the unit's attack phase is decreased by 60%. Oh, so when it's not attacking. Wait, is it always attacking? I don't know what that means exactly. Oh, whoa, way better ring. Um, just gonna give us a little bit more vampirism. We're losing some of that regen, but we didn't have a lot of it to begin with. So, but yeah, see like as we have this shield, it's kind of nice because it's just allowing us to use our vampirism to get a lot of health back. Um, I'm trying to figure out, I think I just started building, put, putting some rocks down here to get better a better adjacency bonus. And yeah, these, uh, these wheat fields, I cannot, um, I'm gonna, I have a lot of wheat fields. I don't, I don't know what else to say beyond that. Oh my god, these guys are doing an insane amount of damage. What is going on here? Okay, wait a minute. Did we get a better... Okay. So... It's kind of nice having that counter. Now that I'm realizing it, it might make sense to lose a little bit of vampirism just to have a little bit more counter. Um... So we just have more opportunities to heal, honestly, because every time we counter, that's heal. That you know, we're healing a little bit. So I think we need a little bit of counter along with our our build here. I mean, cause this is ridiculous. This is getting oh my god, then, then we're turning into ghosts here. See here I was just willy-nilly like placing whatever I wanted. Not thinking, but no, your actions have consequences in this game. Okay, so we got two blood groves, which I'm actually gonna put one up there to hit the boss, and one right here, just help this certain area. We're gonna place a village um, there, which spawned a goblin camp, um, which I guess is fair. <laughs> um, hopefully we can get through this. this this part of the area. Oh my gosh, something crit me. I think it was the the, the Mimic. Oh, Creature's first strike is always a critical hit. Oh, that's an ability to have. Oh my gosh. Man, are we going to have to freaking run again? Wow, that Mimic hurts. That's a painful Mimic right there. Um, This is giving us back some more Vampirism. Oh man, okay. Let's have a little less enemies there. I don't know if we can, oh my gosh, two harpies flying in here. I don't know how we do this. We might need to get some more counter up too. Oh, there's the ghost. Okay, here we go. Here's a village, which, wait, am I here? Okay, I'm gonna place here. That way I can, um, oh, I can't place a wheat thing, but at least we'll heal. We're gonna heal up a ton in this part. Every time we go through a village, we heal 120, um, up each village. Um, I don't know, place some rocks and some mountains, which, oh my gosh, we're spawning some goblin camps. Everything we do has consequences. It's not fair. <laughs> um, mountains, okay. Man, I wanna believe we're getting close to fighting the boss. So I feel like I definitely want to try at least. I want to see what the boss is. We have 12% counter. I'd love to get that number up. Ooh, okay, here we go. This is, we're, we're a little less vampirism, but a ton more attack speed and a ton more damage, which obviously attack speed just means more healing when you're doing a vampirism build. Um, 528, ooh, this gives us more counter, a little less vampirism. So the question is, how much vampirism are we willing to lose? to have, like this, I don't think it's worth it. I think 10% vampirism and 10% counter 
Ah, oh, man, I don't know. No, I don't think it's worth it. I think we need to still have a decent amount of... Uh... Ooh, that's a regen. We lose a lot of the counter. No, I... <laughs> See, I'm just, I keep going back and forth on, like, what, what our build needs here. Um, ooh, okay. No, I'm not, I can't lose that amount of Amprism. Counter is really, really nice, but I actually think the increased attack speed that we have is going to help a lot. Unless they just keep evading. Oh my gosh. Stop evading, guys. Guys, you can stop evading now. I get it. I get it, guys. I get the joke. Wait, 5% to destroy hero's item when attacking? Okay, I'm assuming they're just destroying my items in here. That would suck so bad if they, like, destroyed one of your, like, good builds or something. Okay. A lot of counter. Gotten a lot of items here. We're really low, though. Really, really low. Except that was a lot of what we were needing to fight here. Um, lose the vampirism. I can't, I can't lose that vampirism. Um, this is giving us... We're losing some of the counter. Actually, we're losing all of our counter. But we would gain more vampirism, more evasion. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we gotta just tough it out here. Two scarecrows, one that's an elite. I think we can do this. Especially if we get counters, we can like that. Yes, please. Uh, counter evasion. No. Okay. Okay, this is the elite. This is the delete we gotta go through here. I think we're fine with this in particular. Okay, quest done. Oh, that's a lot of regen. That's a lot of regen. Attack speed, regen per second. No, I think we need the, oh my, I didn't even look at all this stuff up here. Oh no, what has happened up here, guys? Oh man, I don't know if we can do this. I don't know. Like, if I go down to, like, below 100, I think we have to retreat, right? I mean, like, I want to try to try to get through this, but... I mean, that's a ton of progress you lose. Okay, let's see. One elite, one not. Come on, let's... We're luckily killing the one that's not an elite, which is real important to get that one out of the way. Except it keeps evading. Okay, we're at about 350. We're, we're staying about 350 here. So when there's only one enemy, we are kind of like net gaining health, at least with that elite. I mean, and that was an elite, so... Um, man, okay. Okay, I think that was, that was actually like the brunt of most of what I was thinking. So this is another elite, except we're gonna slowly climb health, I think. Or about to stay the same. Nice, we gained some health there. Uh, meadow. So yeah, keep placing these guys. I definitely just want more and more and more health. Uh, we're done placing anything on the map that would make it harder. Which, I, I know we just want to fight the boss here. Okay, maybe these these skeletons are going to be rough, I think, because there's going to be a lot of them attacking me. Come on, guy. I got I believe. Just don't spawn a skeleton. Oh, you spawned a skeleton. That was the one thing didn't want you to do. Okay, I think we lose the counter and instead we gain a ton of regen and um, attack speed. 24 to attack speed, that's a lot. We are losing a lot of damage, but I mean that's... I mean that gets through evasion better too. There's a lot of stuff here that's been doing stupid evasion stuff. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, got a better one of those. I don't know, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Honestly, maybe I maybe what the play is is like how much does like spawning stuff take because if it's gonna spawn like right here And I'm that close or do I need to go through another loop like let's see how much how much does like adding this on No, okay. I think I got to go through another loop. I Gotta go through another loop if we're gonna do this. Oh Man, so, oh, we're, we're gaining no health when we're hitting that gargoyle. Are we just dead here? Excuse me We're at 70 what happened to our damage? I'm so confused here. Oh, was I, I was looking at the wrong number. Okay, we're at 15 health, guys. Uh, I hate to I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but we gotta we gotta get out of here. Man. I mean that's that's definitely an L. Um except 
with that, we can now get refuge. We unlocked the new class, the rogue. Hey, let's let's try that out. Honestly. Um, so wait, what was this? It was a refugee. I want to like kind of still. So that was where the farm was. I also could upgrade things, but no, let's let's get a rogue class. So that's the gymnasium, the smithy farm. Sir, oh, survivor tents are like here. Okay, I want it to be like next one of those tents. I don't know why it doesn't really matter, but uh, oh, I have to build it. Herbalist hut. I don't want to build it over anything. I have to build it over one of these. Herbalist hut, smithy, gymnasium, campfire. Well, I guess I'll build it over one of the farms. I think that like technically is making it worse, but. There is exile even in exile, hero. Don't be hard on the lost souls who have found their salvation in wine and gambling. Sit down instead and pick yourself a poison to drink. That's not why I'm here. It's so strange. This place and its surroundings, they are familiar to me. Now we're talking, so did you make your living off a, off the road? A bit of robbery, maybe? Or collecting bounties for someone's unlucky head? It's as if someone else knew and did all this, and now I have their knowledge and skills, and now I s somehow literally have two aces up my sleeve, and I think I stole someone's purse, too. Oh wait, that's my coin purse. You don't believe me. Ah, well. Feel free to come by if you want to discuss your new trade. I didn't become this good with knives by working in the kitchen, you know. Refugees. So we unlocked a new class. Okay, let's let's go try the uh, the new class here. So what's different? So warrior doesn't have any particular benefits or disadvantages. Plus two percent damage for each second of the fight. Rogue though receives trophies after killing enemies in battle and exchanges them for equipment and camp. Has 5% vampirism from the start, 10% bonus for any effect for every equipped item with the same effect. Wait, 10% bonus for any effect for every equipped item with the same effect. Oh, okay. So you just kind of want to like, huh, that's interesting. Okay. Crit damage. Okay. Let's, let's try this out. We're we unlocking the rogue here. So let's see, we now have this uh, number of trophies to exchange for rewards in camp. That is interesting. Uh, we do not have anywhere to put a shield. We don't have shields. We instead have boots, I guess. Oh, and we have two weapons now? This is interesting. This is interesting. Oh, we even look different too. Oh, this is cool. And we start with some vampirism. There's the trophies. Um, okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and put our meadows down here. We'll put our mountains up here. Um, ooh, this is... I like that you just already have vampirism. I do really like that. We're gonna put a grove here. Make it a little bit harder from the start. Okay, um, we're gonna put a village up here. Put the wheat fields, put the wheat fields, put the mountain. Starting to get this all built up. We're gonna get a quest by going through here. Turning that slime. Got a battlefield. We'll go ahead and put that. We ultimately like don't want these two too much. Uh, because late game it is going to make things really rough as we've seen previously. Got a cemetery, which, you know, we'll we'll throw in a single cemetery. Yeah, I'm very interested to see what these trophies are at the end of the the run. So yeah, we won't, I mean, obviously, we'll, we'll, we'll try to fight the boss here. Um, but if it doesn't happen, you know, we might, it's still going to be interesting to see what kind of happens there. Um, meadow down there. We'll save the blood grove to figure out kind of what we're doing with that. Oh my gosh, wait, excuse me? Why did we just get a ton of equipment there? Okay, let's let's pause here. I don't know why we just got a ton of equipment, but uh, we did. Um, so that's armor. That's pretty good. Um, and I guess we can have two weapons. So counter and that's better than that. Um, boots, three percent evasion. Everything else, um, unless what is this? Two seventy-eight max health, eighty-four. Oh, oh, oh. Number of trophies to exchange for rewards in camp. It's the cozy camp and it gives you loot. That is so interesting actually. Also, what was I doing here? What was what was the what was the play? I got to surround a single thing, right? Did I already fail that? For whatever. 
Um, that is okay. So you just get a ton of loot every time you make it back to camp. That is cool, actually. So that kind of allows you to specifically get like the builds that you want, I think, right? That's that's what it kind of seems like to me. So we really like once we kind of find something here that we really, really want um, or like a build we really, really want to go for. I think we just go for it, you know? Because, I mean, we're going to be able to get a ton of items to look for and choose from. Some rocks. I totally messed up this formation up here. I totally messed it up. I know it. Oh, here we go. Um, ooh, this person's got some crit damage chance. Critical damage. I don't think the warrior had that. Crit damage chance and critical damage up. That'd be cool to just have as much attack speed and crit damage and crit chance as we had. And like not really care about our health too, too much beyond the little vampirism we had. So we're about to go to camp, so... About to get a lot of stuff. A lot of items here. It's pretty much just like every time going to be enough to like... Get us a ton, and I guess it also indirectly gets us a lot of resources too. Got the uh, road lantern if we need it. Another road lantern. And we just get a bunch of stuff. Okay. <laughs> That's so awesome. Okay. Uh, damaged all. I kind of want the attack speed. You know what I mean? I do I do think we're, we just try to continue doing that. Um, got more evasion. That's pretty good. Um, attack speed. Yeah, we'll switch that out for that. So we have more attack speed. Uh, max HP. No, want the... Yeah. Okay, I think that is, that's the equipping that we do. So yeah, I think, okay. So I think we just try to go for as much attack speed and crit damage and crit chance as we can. And uh, be carried by the 5% vampirism that, that we start with. Um, and I am going to take it kind of slow and steady. Um, sorry if I just hit the mic there. Um, I'm going to take it a little slow and steady. Uh, just to like, I don't know. Just because last time I went way overboard spawning a bunch of stuff um, on enemies, which I guess I can't even if I wanted to because I, I don't have the cards for them. Been getting like really good cards for that. What I think I should do is I should place a. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to place a grove up here. I was gonna say to do a blood grove to stop to, to hit some of those, but. I definitely think that we should save these blood groves to see kind of what pops up. I know we can try to like prepare for things and stuff. Um, and ultimately when we get better at the game, we'll do a lot better job at that. But for the time being, I think we kind of hold them on standby while we figure out what's going on here. Ooh, that's pretty good, but not what we're going for. some mountains, which I'm totally messing up this for me. Oh, somehow I, got, I did it. Oh, we got a bunch of good items here. Get out of here. Okay. Okay, let's let's take a look at this. Um, a little less magic damage. No, I don't think that's good. Oh, here we go. Attack speed and evasion. Yeah, I, I like that. Uh, magic damage, don't care about. Evasion bonus, don't care about. Um... Man, it's re it's getting really hard to not switch this armor up. I think we'll switch it up for this. We're gonna lose some of the attack speed, but I mean, that's such a bad piece of equipment that we have. Um, okay. Plus that extra evasion will, will help out a little bit here. We got 15% evasion right now. 17% chance, 458% damage, eight, or 17% chance for HP per day. 15 I, I don't really know how I'm supposed to be reading that. 17% chance for 158% damage. Oh, that's the attack. That's my... Okay, that's my crit chance. That's my crit damage. That makes sense. That makes sense. I was, like, having such a tough time figuring that out for some reason. Um, what I'm going to do here is... I want to keep doing the villages here, but I don't think that's actually the play. Because I think it makes these long stretches where I can't even place blood groves here. You know what I mean? So we're going to get this village here, so we'll still um, 
do it. I might do a grove here and do a blood grove there and then do a blood grove like, uh, I don't know why I did that. Because like my thought was like, I don't know, those blood groves need a little bit more range. I mean, I know why they don't. It's just like, yeah, it's only gonna reach things that aren't. Like maybe now I can like spawn like another village around here. Maybe like right there would be good because it would be hit. But like all the villagers up here, they're gonna start getting a lot of scarecrows and stuff spawned. I'm not getting any help with them from the blood grove. We did level up though here, so. 10% chance to keep the card after placing its tile doesn't work for golden cards. Um, and max HP is increased by one for each received trophy. Ooh. Or every 10% of lost HP gives you 0.5% chance to instantly deal a thousand damage. Let's get the max HPs increased because we're really early on in the game. We haven't even, we were, we're just now getting like one fourth of the way. So, I don't know. That might get us, you know, decent amount of HP over the course of time. We're using some of our, man, these guys that are evading a lot. Oh, there's another, there's another potion used. Oh no. Oh no, guys. Are we dying to just like a single bandit? What is happening here? There's our third potion used. I... I don't know, we're, we're getting destroyed. Just by like a single bandit here. That was ridiculous. We might just have to back out here. 31, oh my, are we gonna die? Are we gonna die? Okay, no, well, we, we have to back out. Well, we're backing out, we have 33 HP, but wow. I, I'm surprised that turned bad so bad all of a sudden. Um, but yeah, we cannot upgrade anything. I'm assuming we can't build anything, but um, hey, but at least we unlocked the uh, the rogue class, um, which is actually like really, really exciting. Um, and I definitely think I'm gonna be trying out the uh, rogue class um, even more in the, uh, you know, future runs and stuff like that. So, um, thank you guys so much for, uh, for watching this Let's Play. If you're still watching at this point, uh, Loop Hero is honestly one of my favorite roguelites right now. So I'm really uh, happy that you guys are enjoying watching these as much as uh, I have been playing them. So, um, if you, uh, you know, want to keep seeing more of these, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Um, and just thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and if you haven't checked out my full review somehow, I definitely check that out of, uh, of Loop Hero. Uh, and if you are a as big of a fan in roguelites as I am, uh, definitely consider subscribing and ringing that bell like all the big boy YouTubers say. I play a ton of roguelites, uh, do reviews, live streams, let's plays, all of the good stuff. So uh, definitely subscribe to see more in the future. But if you guys are going to be grinding out some games of Loop Hero, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.